Hey there guys, it's Delta Trooper 9 here with What's New in Minecraft Snapshot 13W16A. Now, I'm going to go over the new launcher before going into the game and showing you what is new in the snapshot itself. Uh, so, this launcher has been talked about for a while, and uh, the biggest thing to me was that there is a version selector now, and only the snapshot is on this list currently, uh, but as it is uh, updated and released, it will have all the different versions of Minecraft and from now on with this snapshot on uh, you'll have to use this new launcher now under that you'll see a status update uh, so you'll have a uh, up to date for now but if you are using a different version or an older version it will say something different obviously I cannot tell you exactly what it says right now uh, but as time goes on I will be able to tell you that uh, so you'll see that it says uh, notice and this launcher is in early development and uh, gives you a little notice about that. It has crashed once on me, but otherwise it seems okay. Now here you'll see the login information and register and play button, and from that uh, you can either go to the Mojang website or you can play, which is like login, and it will show a little progress bar at the bottom when it's loading. Um, and if it's forcing update or updating, uh, that will be your notification uh, telling you how far along it is. Uh, so yeah, that's really about it for the new launcher. You can see you still have the change log here. Everything else is pretty much the same. All right, so now that I'm in the game, the first thing that they've added is horses. Yes, they've added some horses. So uh, there's a bunch of different types and it's basically a random draw when you spawn them in with a spawn egg, kind of like villagers. And they come in uh, many different colors, and there's baby ones like this, or uh, adult ones. And you can make them jump by, uh, if you have something in your hand, right-clicking them. And if you have nothing in your hand, when you right-click them, you'll actually get on them. Uh, but as soon as they jump, you'll get uh, kicked off of the back. So that's pretty cool. Now, they also said they added saddles that can be placed on them, but I haven't really found that to be true right now. Uh, but they still can be, they are rideable, um, but you obviously cannot uh, really stay on them for very long as they will kick you off and once they jump. Now the next thing is that uh, leashes, yes leashes, now I would think they would also be for the horses, but it doesn't seem to work on horses. So uh, for wolves, if you right click a wolf and then right click to uh, fence, something you can connect them to, then you will actually have them on a leash connected to that item so they can't really run away at all. Even if they aren't sitting, they can uh, run around that area until uh, they're kind of too tight and uh, too far away from wherever they're attached to. And then they're just stuck in that little area, which I think is a really cool idea. The next thing is that they added hay bales. Now these hay bales can be placed like wood blocks. So when you place them on the side of a block, they will be placed sideways on the top or bottom. They will be placed upwards like that. And the horses do act like they're eating them, uh, but they also act like they're eating grass as well. So they basically just do that on the hay bales, but it doesn't seem like they actually eat them. There's no sort of particles that come flying up or anything. Uh, now, the next thing is that over here, you see I have thin slabs of wool, and these are actually carpets. Uh, so they come in all different colors of wool, and then they can be crafted by using two pieces of wool like so and that creates a carpet um, they look like this crafted like that and they can be placed on pretty much any block that a torch can be placed on uh, except for fences so you see I'm placing them all over here but you can't place them on glass or on fences uh, so yeah that's just a cool thing cool decoration the next thing is that you can see I have a respiration helmet on and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and then go underwater here and you'll see uh, it looks as like it did before now you put on the respiration helmet and it is a little bit brighter easier to see and this would be easier to tell if you're in a bigger body of water um, but watch the sides of my inventory and it gets darker when i take it off and lighter when i put it on uh, so that's just a cool new feature a cool new perk of respiration helmets now a few side notes are that they changed the idea of mob difficulty. So now when you spend a long time in a certain area, it actually will get harder. Mobs will spawn more often and they will have more items and enchants. 
and also they fixed a few bugs such as they fixed Anvil's charging level for nothing uh, when using languages other than English and also they fixed Enderman becoming hostile when taking environmental damage. That is it for the 13W16A snapshot and if you have any questions you can leave those in the comments below. If I missed something you can also leave that in the comments below and I will update um, a list of things I missed in the description and also if you enjoyed this a like and a pair would be greatly appreciated and also if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.